What's up guys, it's Mike Tech B, and we've got a couple banners that I hung up back here. Israel from Social Paintball hooked those up. Uh, we ordered some jerseys from him for uh, Marker Bits for Legends and he gave me two free banners in the box. I was pretty happy about it, so I hung them up in the back. Anyway, let's talk today about the Pinocchio Speed Loader. Um, everybody knows about the standard Pinocchio. It's been on the market for quite some time. It's one of my personal favorite loaders. I love the thing to death. It never jams. It's light. Um, you know, uses two 9 volts, which is the same batteries that the guns use, so you only have to carry one battery to the field. Gets like 30 cases per two 9 volts. It's light. Weighs less than a pound. Holds two full pods of paint. I, I can't say enough good things about the Pinocchio. It's my favorite loader on the market. Um, the fact that it never jams, I just, I just love that. It just never jams. It just never jams. So <laughs> it doesn't need any jam technology because the thing just never jams. But anyway, um, came out with the new Pinocchio speed loader. Now, the standard Pinocchio was more designed. Uh, you can't use it in, 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 in you know, a race or speed ball, whatever you want to call it, air ball. Um, a lot of people don't like it because it's big. It holds two full pods of paint. So for a lot of people don't like the fact that it's that big. I never had a problem with it. I find it's nice slim profile, makes it easy to hide behind the bunkers. I love having the extra, extra paint capacity. You can run literally from one end of the field all the way to the other while running and gunning and you never run out of paint, which is great. But for a lot of people that don't like that, they like the smaller loader. So Evan wanted to take the same proven design of the Pinocchio, the feed system, and put it into a smaller package. And this is what you get today. You get the new Pinocchio speed loader. Um, a lot of people are, oh, I just don't really like the look of it and stuff like that. Well, he, he's got a little bit of genius behind his design. First thing that he did was he put the, the catch cup, which is where all the paintballs get stored in as they're getting fed down the, the feed neck. He put that in the front of the feed neck, which is not, you don't see that on any of the loaders out there today. Um, if you look at the Z2, the catch cup's in the back. If you look at the Halo, the catch cup's in the back. The Spire, the catch cup's in the back. The Rotor, it's in the back. So, you know, the Pinocchio's in the back also. The Velocity, it's in the back. I mean, so all of the loaders that are on the market right now have the catch cup in the back. He put the catch cup in the front. The reason why he did that was for extra paint capacity, and also he wanted a loader that was balanced on the feed neck. Most of the loaders that are on the market today, pretty much almost all the loaders on the market today, are very heavy towards the rear of it. He wanted something that is centrally balanced. So by putting the catch cup in the front, putting the motor in the front with the batteries in the back, it evenly distributes the weight of the loader. And, and the advantage of that is when you have it on the gun, it feels very light when, you're on, when it's on the gun. Um, let's, let's do a quick, uh, um, a quick uh, video about paint capacity. So I have two full pods here. Um, hopefully you can see that they're filled all the way to the top. Um, so we got two full pods here. And what we're going to do here, we'll turn it on. We're going to fill up, fill this up and see how much paint we can get in here. I believe it's about a pod and a third, but let's go ahead and pour it all in there. I might be able to just get just a couple more. Obviously we want this lid to close. Um, okay, so we didn't mash the paint in. We didn't mash the paint in. You can still hear the paint rumbling around a little bit, and obviously it's down there. So um, let's you know we've got basically about a pod and a third, which is average. So you figure each pod holds about 135 rounds. Pod and a third, you're looking at about 165 rounds, which puts it pretty close to like the rotor. Um, I believe the Z2, the standard Z2 might hold slightly a little bit more. Um, the standard Spire uh, holds about the same. So that, that's about right. About a pod and a third is about average uh, for the loaders today. So. so I'll fill this up real fast. Now, for those who are... I'm going to spill paint all over the place. It's okay. For those who are Pinocchio uh, fanatics, you may remember that Pinocchio a long time ago had something called the P-board. The P-board... Because you have two nine volts in the in the gut in the uh, loader, the P board, what that did was it actually gave the full 18 volts to the motor. The Pinocchio the 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 Pinocchio speed gives the full 18 volts to the motor. Um, the the old Pinocchio, if you got the standard Pinocchio, you'll notice that it started off with a green light, and as your batteries went dead, it went to a red light. Well, he did the same thing with the speed loader that if, you, if your batteries are dying, you get a red light, and that way you know by looking at it when you turn it on if you need to change the batteries. Um, I'll show you something that's really neat about this loader that kind of stuns a lot of people. Paint falls out, that's okay. But 
I'll show you. I'm, I'm actually going. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to fill it up with paint real fast. Let's see. This one's before and it worked out pretty good, but there you go. So with paint in it, and this is filled up probably about 70%. With paint in it, you can see that it stays perfectly balanced on its feed neck. Okay, so um, I had to shuffle the paint around just a little bit, but it stays perfectly balanced on their feed neck. Now, I want to talk about something else that a lot of people have had concerns about in regards to the, um, the raceway being in the back of the or being in the front of the loader. Does it affect you if you have your gun arced up like this, okay? Yes, it does, it does affect it. Now, in speedball or airball or race or x-ball, whatever you wanna call it, it's not that big of a deal off the brake because your loader is completely full off the brake. So when you first start out, your loader is completely full and it's gonna feed what's in front of your, your um, uh, feed what's in front of your, you know, the front half of your loader right here first, and then you're going to get the paint trapped around the back of it. It's not that big of a deal off the brake because you're aiming up and your loader's full of paint. Now, if you stayed in the very back or if you're in woods and you're constantly long balling with your gun up like this at like a 30 degree angle or, or something like that, yeah, this would not be the loader for you if you're a back player or you're a long baller that likes to, you know, basically sit here and lob paint like this. Not a bad idea. So, <laughs> because the catch cup is in the front, the gun is designed to be shot straight or like, you know, you're running up the bunker somebody and you aim down. With most guns, if you're running up the bunker somebody, you know, there is a potential that you could run out of paint if you started shooting too early because all the paint would go to the front of the loader. This is the exact opposite with the speed because the catch cup's in the front. If you're running up and you go to bunker somebody, all the paint is right there in the front, which is where the catch cup is located to, to put down into the gun. So yes, for, for the people that had questions about, you know, problems or any issues if you're, if you're, you know, because the catch cup is located in the front of the loader, you know, yes, I would not buy this if I was a, a habitual back player. I would not buy this if I was a long baller in the woods. I don't particularly like using this when I'm using my apex barrel because I'm aiming up at such a high angle because it hits the rubber flap and goes straight. This is not a good loader for that. You want to use something else with a catch cup in the back any of the other loaders that are on the market. Let's go ahead and weigh it really fast. Let me get this uh, this paint out of here real fast. So. Okay. All right. So no paint in there. Let's go ahead and weigh it really quick. Okay. So it weighs in at 15 ounces with the nine volts in it. So 15 ounces with the nine volts in it. Yeah. So I'm gonna weigh some of the other loaders that are on the market really quick. Sorry about the. Uh... I'm gonna weigh the Prophecy. Sorry about the zoom in on my double chin here. I'm gonna weigh the uh, the Prophecy Z2. So as you can see. We've got uh, batteries in here. Now this is gonna. This is the Prophecy, the 240. This is actually how I like to have my Prophecy. I like it better in the 240 than in the standard uh, Z2 configuration. I think it just it, it, the extra paint capacity is awesome, and you really don't sacrifice that much size to go to the 240 shell. So you may have to add an ounce for it. I know it's not exactly apples to apples, but one pound, 3.7 ounces. So one pound, 3.7 ounces for the uh, the Z2. So that's about four ounces heavier. Let's go ahead and weigh the, um, the Spire. Now this is also the Spire 260, I apologize. This is just how I like these loaders. So I prefer the 260 in the Spire and I prefer the 260 in the Z2. Okay. One pound, 3.9 ounces for the Spire. And these are just, just some uh, comparative, um, just some comparative uh, measurements really quick, and as you can see, this is that loader's you know that loader's got battery and batteries in it as well. Okay, so that wraps up the, the Pinocchio speed loader. I've sold a few of these on marker bids, and, and the patrons that have gotten them have really really liked them. It uses the standard Halo feed neck, or you know the the standard Halo 
speed feeds. So Halo, Pinocchio speed feeds all work on it. My personal favorite one is the Virtue Spire SF. That's what I have on on my Mini GS where I have the uh, Pinocchio speed. I love the uh, the the Virtue the the SF speed feeds. They're a little bit expensive, but they're just awesome. So if you are uh, a, you know a notorious um, Airball player, that's what you just love to play. You love playing speed ball, you love playing air ball, hyper ball, stuff like that. You're not playing woods where you're constantly long balling. Give this loader a look. Right now it's retailing for 130 bucks, which is a steal. Um, that's you know $70 cheaper than the Spire, $70 cheaper than the latest rotors. I know some of the older rotors are on sale for 150. Um, pretty close in price to some of the um, Empire Z2. Sometimes you can get a white one or a camel one on discount. If you go to ansgear.com, sometimes they got those on discount. But I believe the Z2s are retailing right around about 159. Um, but you can find some cheaper ones that are about the same price, if not slightly cheaper than this one. So it's it's in a really good price pack for 130 bucks for this loader. Definitely really really well priced uh, loader for for you know for considering how expensive the spires, the rotors, and, and stuff like that are going for right now. Um, definitely give it a look. Um, if, if you're looking for a really small loader, but probably I'll tell you, I'll leave the, I'll end this, uh, uh, in this uh, review on this. My absolute, absolute favorite thing about the loader, especially when I'm playing air ball, is the visibility around it. It's not like a huge block in the back of your face. Sometimes like when you take a look at the spire from behind or the Z2 from behind, you get that huge block from the back of the loader in your face. It has amazing visibility all the way around it and your, your field visibility when you're out there playing is just unbelievable with this loader. The, how easy it is to see all the way around it. You know, when you're when you're popping out of your bunker, you're thinking about popping out, or you're running and gunning off the brake, just you're not blocked out at all when you're looking down with this loader. Just the, the fact that it's so far forward and and it's rounded here just makes your field visibility just unbelievable with it. Probably my favorite thing about that loader above and beyond anything else. So Hopefully that helps you with the Pinocchio speed loader, 130 bucks, really, really neat loader. Um, I would, you know, if you're kind of unsure about how it's going to feel on your gun, find someone that has it first, use it for a game, you'll see, see what I mean. But there's a lot about that loader to like. I know it's ugly to look at, but it's a really nice loader once you put it on your gun. Thanks for tuning in.